everybody i am back again with another tutorial for the pocket um planner pocket rings planner and this um this is how far i've gotten i made is it this one so i was making in the last one the shakers dashboards for the rings that's for this one this one is the rose gold one and i absolutely love the way this shaker came out i love the way they all came out and here is the tiffany one and i used um it's not the exact color but because of the kind of you know reflections that it gives it does coordinate that like mermaid color one but i do need to look for sequence that's this color because i have to have it so now i am working on making a pocket just a clear pocket that can be used to insert stuff um instead of just a folder i also like to add pockets so it's going to be similar to this without the washi um and i am using a different pocket that i already had in my stash just to use these things up and this one same brand and also from joann's these are photo protector sheets again five and a half by 4.75 so it's the same height because it fits the same um, binder that these were for so i it comes with 16 but i probably have used some of these and they're nice and thick that's one of the reasons why i'm using it because it's a nice thick plastic three four five six i'm gonna do seven because i want one in mine i haven't made myself one yet <clears throat> But on camera, I'm probably only going to do a couple. And, you know, we need our fuse tool again. Again, this one is from Project Life. Sold at all craft stores and online. And I just got a little cardstock or chipboard on the bottom to use for fusing on. I got the ruler that comes with the fuse tool. My cutter is right here. So... I'm going to cut this down to the size that I need and I do have a template with measurements on here and the inserts for these pocket rings I have rounded up to four and three quarters by three and a quarter make it easier for me when I make my TN and the inserts it is slightly like a hair shorter than this um, for the actual pocket ring size but this size fits still perfectly in there and um, so here we're gonna do this now what I want is this finished side and this finished side in there so I'm gonna cut off this section because it's gonna be a working pocket that you're gonna keep putting things in so if I have the, the option to do so I will leave this side for that um, but you can use any plastic pockets that you have and cut it down and see all the sides that you want to seal um, let me put this down so you can see better how that looks um, you could cut this end off, tape this up, and use this as a pocket, you know, seal that. But again, I want this finished end. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do is cut off this end, leave the height because it's the right height. Um, uh, so, yeah, let's just cut this. And we're going to cut off, again, the part with the holes to three and one quarter. And, you know, if you're doing a whole bunch of these like I do, I'm going to do an assembly line and cut them all. You can always keep the little bits that's big enough to make something out of. But that size I throw out because I wouldn't use it. So now we have one side, well, two sides open. The top, of course, and then this side. So we're going to seal this. And I'm going to make a second seal to kind of replicate this here so that when you're tucking things in they don't get caught on the ring so we're going to replicate that just um i'm going to use this so that i know where to seal it because it's going to be a little thinner than the other one and then it'll be done so let's just move this over all right so i've never done this before so we're just gonna layer the two and for now what i'm going to do is mark it with a pen no, I shouldn't do that. I need to mark it with something that will wipe off. Let's see if it works with this marker. So this is where the hole is going to go. So we want to go past that. Maybe about there. So hopefully I'll be able to see that when I 
do it. And then we're going to test it out after I sealed that and the end. And what am I doing? Okay, let's get this out of the way now. Again, my fuse tool has been on for a while. I'm actually going to pass that line with my ruler just because the fuse tool tip is a little wide. So make sure it's straight. And fuse. And then we're going to slide this over and fuse the end just so it's finished. I'm going to be like really on the edge here. All right, so I don't know how well this is going to cut through this plastic as is without anything on it. So, um, but look, it already looks, it already looks like, you know, let's go ahead and test this out. Otherwise we could just use a hole punch and use our template. So that's another reason why I made a template for the times that I can't punch with this because there's going to be items that you can't, you know, it'll be too, um, make sure it's all the way in, might be too, oh, stay, last time my pocket had moved. Yeah, so I feel like it's not, see, it's like catching. So let's just, Okay, I am back, and no, this did not cut through that. Um, I did have to pull it out. One of these guys got stuck because of the plastic. It wouldn't come back up, but don't freak out if that happens to you. All you have to do when you remove this, I'll show you. If one of these things stays down, or more than one, all you got to do is find something, and <laughs> I just use this, and push it through, and it'll pop back up. Don't put your fingers in there, though, because that, that's under pressure. Um, it it's just the plastic sticking between this metal and the that rod there so um that's why i made that noise but it won't cut through that so i pulled out my oh what's in here um punch my handheld punch i hate using it <laughs> Um, I think, yeah, I did ruin my plastic trying to pull it out, so we're going to have to do this again, but um, this, I'm going to test this out. Yeah, okay. So it'll punch it, but it doesn't go all the way through, so you will have to cut that with um, scissors later, but we're going to do this one more time. Again. <clears throat> and cut it down again to... Four and three quarters again cutting off the side with the holes which you can't see but that side there four and a quarter not four and three quarters but four and a quarter all right and go to the side that is open with this open side up and to the right and come back actually should I just uh... I'm just going to follow this one here and mark it again. I'm just lining it up so I can remember where to mark it, but it was perfect where I had it earlier. And I'm just staying to the left at that line. We'll seal it again. And then scoot it over and finish the other side. Okay, so we get that. And now we've got our pocket here. Now what we're going to do is use our template and make sure it's all lined up. And I think this punches a little bit like a hair bigger than this hole as far as the size of the holes and you can you know what you can um, clip if this moves around because it's plastic and it's slippery I've got another clip back here somewhere we can just clip it together that way it doesn't move around and cut 
And again, it doesn't cut it completely off. So we're still going to have to go back and trim it. Now, unless you have a really good, I don't know, maybe there's better punches that will cut all the way through the plastic. But as you can see between this hole and this hole, well, you might not see it, but it's like a hair bigger as far as the size of the hole. But it's still going to work. It doesn't matter. All right. So you actually cut little pieces of my cardstock there. So now using some little scissors here, I'm going to trim off almost, yeah, only one of them cut all the way through. So we're just going to take off all those little bits all the little circles unless they come off let's see they don't peel off so it's a pretty thick plastic and it's two layers so it's kind of fiddly all right so now we're good I could have moved this seal a little more to the side there, but it's okay. It's still sealed. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and insert this. I just wanted you to see it, how it kind of looks like our original one. See how it's got the two sealed ends there? And we can insert this anywhere in. Let's just open it like to one of these. Let's say over here. And of course, it's only for little things. We got a little pocket here. And let's see, what can I put in here that's handy? Do I have a small card that'll fit? I don't think these fit. No, these are too big. All right, for now, I'm just going to use my business card. But look. You could put a couple of these in here and you'll have a reusable pocket. It could also be your another dashboard. And you can even add an even an extra little small like adhesive pocket in front if you really like a lot of pockets. But there you go. There is your um, clear pocket for the pocket size TN and this will work for any size. Not TN, I'm sorry, pocket size ring bound. It'll work. This technique will work for any size. Just get bigger pouches and you're all set to go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.